All right, so today we're talking about ANOVA, Analysis of Variance, and there's a couple different uses for ANOVA, but uh, one of the most basic ones is just to see if there's a statistical difference between uh, more than two groups. Uh, we've done t-tests in the past where we could see whether you know the mean of one group is different from another mean, but if we have more than two groups, you know, if we're thinking about something like race or something with more than three, anything above two, um, it's going to take uh, a lot of t-tests to figure out where that difference is. And analysis of variance allows us to kind of decipher rather quickly if there is difference. Um, so let's look at this example of uh, earthquakes. Um, we've um, categorized, um, we've grouped the magnitude of earthquakes into uh, this new variable uh, into a basically uh, a three-level way of looking at it. Uh, earthquakes which um, are below 6.0, earthquakes that are between 6.0 to 6.9, and earthquakes that are above 7.0. And you know, if you were doing a basic t-test, you know, we might be looking at you know, is a difference between one and two in terms of mean um, number of deaths if there's a difference between these two groups. But ANOVA can actually tell us if there is a statistical difference between all of these three groups. We just go to Analyze, Compare Means, and we're going to do a one-way ANOVA. So our dependent is going to be number of deaths, or the natural log of deaths. Um, and then our dependent variable is going to be magnitude 2, which is just our recoded variable um, telling us the, different, uh, the three different categories of earthquakes. And we're going to go uh, to Options. And we're going to choose on Descriptive and Means Plot. I'm going to click on continue. And then we're going to look at a post hoc test. And what a post hoc test is, um, and we're only going to talk about one of them, is you know the ANOVA can tell us that there's a st statistical difference uh, across these groups, but it can't tell us per se where this difference is. And we only have three groups, but we could actually have multiple groups. Um, and it might be kind of confusing to say, OK, there's a difference within this this category um, but where is this difference between which groups within that category is there a difference um, it's a little bit confusing to say so it's better just to show so I'm going to go ahead and click OK okay so the first box is just uh, basic descriptives we have our a uh, factor or um, our way of categorizing um, earthquakes and there are, here's our three levels of it we have under six there's six of earthquakes that fell in that category, and their mean number of deaths was 2.6. Um, the next level is 5.494, and the next one is 7.1140. Um, and um, you know we're trying to see if there's a difference between all of these three groups. Okay, so then we have the second box, which is actually the ANOVA analysis itself. And one way of thinking about ANOVA is is really kind of testing this idea that it's worthwhile to look at this type of category. It's worthwhile to categorize earthquakes into these types of groups. And it's giving us the sum of squares, the differences in means um, uh, within groups, and the sums of differences between groups. And then it squares them. And I mean, just conceptually thinking about it, if we really, if you want to say that it's worthwhile to think about the categories of earthquakes, we really want to have more difference between groups than within groups. We want that difference to be between them, you know, ra rather than within them. And the mean square in this situation, we can see that it's it's much it's larger than the within group mean square. And the F ratio is really a ratio between these two values. And the higher the between difference relative to the within difference, the higher the probability that there really is difference between the groups. And it actually calculates for us what that F statistic is in terms of significance. So at a below a 0 0.01 level um, of significance, we can assume that um, there's real difference in the population. Now, 
this is telling us that within these three groups there's difference, but it doesn't tell us where that difference is. And that's what a post hoc test is all about, is to kind of specify more exactly where this difference is. And we did this LSD uh, post hoc comparison. And basically we're looking at um, comparing one group to the other two and doing a, a t-test. Um, and so we see here that the difference between uh, an a earthquake below a 6 and relative to earthquakes between 6 and to 6.9, there is no statistical difference between those two. As opposed to here, um, the difference between this category of earthquakes to this category of earthquakes, we see a statistical significance. Uh, and you can tell that because, A, there's a little star here, and you can also see the significance level right here. Um, then the next box shows you another way of looking at it, um, 6.0 to 6.9. Um, there's no difference between below 6, um, and this was true in, in the cell above this, and 6. Point, this category of earthquake to the above 7 category of earthquake, there's also no difference. Lastly, the last cell is going to be a little bit redundant. It's going to be saying, okay, above 7.0 earthquakes, uh, is there a difference to a below 6.0 earthquakes? And there is a difference. Um, you got the little star, you got the significance level here, um, and this is, you know, the exact same um, significance to this first cell, right? Because we're comparing the same two groups, six below six to above seven. Uh, another way of looking at this is that we ask the computer to generate a means plot, the difference between um, the means of these groups. And if we had more groups, this would probably be an easier thing to illustrate. But basically, in this means plot, you can see that the difference between this group of earthquakes is significant compared to this means of earthquake. But the difference between the middle earthquakes to the upper earthquakes, there's no statistical difference. And the, there's no statistical difference between the middle group and the lower group. But there is a difference between the lower group and the highest group. So ANOVA, just to recap, can tell us that there is difference between groups. But it can't tell us where this difference is occurring. Is it occurring between the lowest and the highest, or in between and the highest, or the lowest and the between? Uh, and that's why we do a post hoc test, uh, a test after we've determined that there is difference. And that tells us more specifically where that difference is. And in this situation, it was telling us that there's a difference between the lowest earthquakes and the highest earthquakes.